how can you get consistent with your workouts? How can you stay consistent on your weight loss journey? In this video, I'm going to tell you five things that you can do and put in place to make sure that you have less number of times that you actually skip workouts. Coming up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kepo. This is the Skinny Jello channel. If you're new here, welcome. I give really cool tips and hacks to lose weight and keep it up for good, okay? Never, nunca, never again. And all the while enjoying really delicious food. If this is right up your alley, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and share this video with other friends that you think might actually find it useful. One, have a plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. You've probably heard this before. If you are going into a gym or you wake up and you say, hey, I'm gonna work out at home today and you don't have actual workout plan, like okay, today, Monday, I'm gonna hit lower body or upper body, for example. You are likely to just dilly dally or just do whatever or not even do anything at all because there's nothing that you're actually looking forward to. Now, going beyond that, apart from having, okay, Monday, I'm gonna do this, Tuesday, I'm going to do this, within Monday itself, you should have some kind of routine. Please, I beg of you, please, do not go get on your mat or go to the gym without an actual routine in hand. Down to, you're gonna do this specific exercise and you're gonna do it X number of times and each time you do, you're gonna repeat it 15 times. You need to have that kind of specific plan. Guys, I have done this before. That is why I'm so passionate about it. I've done, there are so many days back in, back in the day. Huh, in those days of yo, I'll go to the gym. I'm like, ah, okay, I'll never try this machine out. Okay, I'll try this one out. Wow, look at that girl. She has a big bottle. And look at what she's doing. Okay, me too. I'll go and do it. It's like, just doing anything and everything. This is the number one recipe to not hit your goals. Okay? So get a plan. I do have a free version of that for seven days. Full workout plan and meal plan in the description below if you want to download that. Now, two, timing. Oh, this one still gets me. Even I am still in the journey of formulating this because as life changes, maybe... For example, I move places or I, I travel somewhere for an extended period of time. Things change and I need to adjust this. However, when you find yourself in the same place, such as home, <laughs> for an extended period of time, as much as possible, you want to have a fixed time or time period when you work out. This does something here, guys. When you do it long enough, starting is hard, beginning is hard. I'm not going to lie about that. But when, when you do it long enough and repeatedly enough, we are creatures of habit. Your body, we will start to ask for it. I would advise working out first thing in the morning, honestly. Grab your bite and then go for it. You're getting it out of the way. It's like, a, you know, this think of a frog that you have to eat. You know, eat that frog. Like just eat it up done and you're done for the day it sets you up in a good mood but not only that it just helps you stay consistent if you cannot do it in the morning the other times that you can do it will be later on in the day but you know how it gets you know how it gets you're gonna get back home from running 10,000 errands and then you sit down on the couch and you're like ah let me just rest for like 30 minutes and then i'll change to my workout clothes no then you look at your phone Ah, oh wow, look at what this person is doing on Instagram. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh yes, I forgot to respond to this person's message. Da, 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 da. Oh man, like, ah, I could use a snack. Let me just get a snack, then I'll rest, then I'll go. Okay, I'll get a snack. Ah, man, that was so much food. Now I need to rest now. Um, oh crap, there's still one more thing I need to send to my boss. Okay, let me quickly do that and then I'll go to the gym. And then, by the time you look at the time, it's like, oh wait, ah, oh, man, oh, oh yeah, I'm tired. We'll do it tomorrow. It goes on and on like that. Now, however, if you have a workout partner or you are part of a gym class, I'm not really for gym classes because another video. Now then you can set it for later on in the day because then you have somebody else to keep you accountable. Or maybe for example, you have a personal trainer, then for sure you have to attend, right? You have to go and show up. So personally for me, if I'm working out by myself, I make sure it's in the morning. Now, if I'm working out with somebody else, it can be any time of the day because now I owe that person showing up. 
Number three, you need to just be mechanical about things. Don't overthink it. Like when you sit down and you agonize, oh, okay, I'm gonna work out. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I need to get in the car. Okay, I need to change. And then, like the more you agonize about it, the more painful it actually becomes and the less likely you are to actually work out. The best thing is to just get up and just go and do it. Don't even think about it. And this is how I go about my own, like, honestly, even down to getting up in the morning, sometimes you just don't want to wake up and it's so cozy. You just have to open up the 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 covers and just be like, Psh, okay, I'm done. I'm just going to do it. And just, you literally go with the motion. And then eventually your feelings kind of follow your actions. If you're waiting to feel like it before you work out, honey, you're not going anywhere. That you end up working out maybe once or twice a week. It cannot be based on your feelings. It needs to be based on other things beyond your feelings. That will have to do with your mindset, which I did a video on that. So definitely check that one out here. And remember this. This is not even a tip or anything. This is just something to remember that showing up. Up on your mat or showing up in the gym is half the battle won. The worst workout is the one that you did not do. Number four is recovery. You need to practice recovery methods and there are so many of them and I'm here to serve you with so many of them. Stretching, foam rolling, using the trigger point ball, soaking in Exxon salt bath, saunas, uh, cryotherapy, getting a massage. I mean, I've mentioned like how many, seven now. Taking an ice bath, eight. Why is recovery important? If you're sore, <laughs> which you will be, if you're really pushing yourself and you don't do something about it, guess what's going to happen? You're likely not gonna show up the next day to work out. If you're like so sore, and your legs can't move, heck by me. Final thing is rewarding yourself. Let's get this one out of the way. I'm not saying reward yourself and say, oh, if I do this workout today, I'm going to get myself a scoop of ice cream. Honey, no, that's not what we're talking about. I don't like to think this way, and I hope you don't think this way as put out exercise as this carrot and stick thing. Oh, if I exercise well, then I get to eat this. No, 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 no. Well, first of all, working out already has its own inherent benefits. But if you need some extra genius factor, you can, for example, create a playlist of really fun songs that you like, songs that you typically hear at a party. Music, music, music touches the human emotion like nothing else. The other thing that you can do is maybe if you have a favorite TV show, you can postpone it. Okay, you know what? I'm only going to watch this episode if I crush, if I get, if I do my workout today. That way you have something to look forward to, to work out when you're working out. Are there other things that you do? Are there things that you do to stay consistent? What are the, what are the measures that you've put in place to stay consistent let me know in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video